me, the guy that designed the FW18, Adrian Newey. My job at Williams is chief designer, and as such, I suppose I'm, uh, lo along with Patrick, responsible for the performance of the car. Now 37, knew he started racing karts when he was 15, and despite graduating from Southampton University with a degree in aeronautic engineering, he always wanted a career in motor racing. Because I felt that uh, racing cars were closer to aircraft than anything else. And so I didn't study aeronautics because I was interested in aircraft, I'm afraid. I studied it because I, was in, I wanted to get into racing. His career in motorsport began in 1980, first with Fittipaldi and then with March, back in the days when the science of aerodynamics was only just becoming vitally important on the racetrack. Always had a great importance in Formula One. Um, you know, even in the 50s it still had a great importance, it's just it's only recently as it's really been recognised. Racing landmarks came with the rear-engined Cooper in the late 50s, the winged Brabham, and then as a development of Jim Hall's drag-reducing aerodynamic devices, the arrival of deliberately introduced downforce on the Lotus 78, and the sudden discovery that aerodynamics was the key. I think really over the last five years or so, people have realised just how important it is. At Williams since 1990, Newey's gone on to develop the art and produce cars which are generally accepted as being the best in the pit lane. If you do a good job in motor racing, then, then the car goes well and you get an immediate feedback. If you don't do a good job, then the car goes badly and, and again, so it's, um, it's very direct. The Williams is over the last five years, then generally you can see an evolution of one car to the next car. The 1995 FW17 was widely regarded as the best designed and engineered car in the pit lane, and though it incorporates all the latest safety regulations, including the controversial dimensions surrounding roll bar and cockpit sides, the latest evolution from Didcot is just that evolution rather than revolution as the team chose to improve on the good points of the 95 car and give the drivers a stable platform from which to advance that aim has been easily achieved and the fw18 is again the best of the breed and has brought williams yet another constructors title